Hi, my name is Matej. Welcome to X Series News Broadcast. Here's the latest high impact market news for the week ending May 19th. Data on Thursday showed that the US initial jobless claims fell to the lowest level since January 2008 in the week ending May 4th. Earlier this month, data showed that the US economy added more jobs than forecasted in April, pushing the unemployment rate to a more than four year low of 7.5%. Now, the most important upcoming fundamental news for the week starting May 20th selected for you according to the market movement significance. In the coming week, investors will be awaiting preliminary data from the Eurozone and Japan on first quarter economic growth as well as the ZEW report on German economic sentiment. The US is to release official data during all the week on retail sales, building permits, jobless claims and a closely watched report on consumer sentiment. The euro fell to one month low against the broadly stronger dollar on Friday after recent strong U.S. employment data sparked speculation that the Federal Reserve may scale back its quantitative easing program. The dollar's broad-based rally saw the currency advance to its highest level since October 2008 against the yen on Friday. The dollar rose about 101 per yen after data showed that Japanese investors became net purchasers of overseas bond in the past two weeks as the Bank of Japan's massive easing program prompted investors to seek out higher yields overseas to compensate for lower yields on Japanese government bonds. Finishing up our broadcast is the multi-trader section. Today's multi-trader strategy is IGS Fund, which is one of the average strategies. It made a 1.59% profit. During the last three months, the strategy achieved these gains. The performance is rising. The strategy managed to stay profitable in March and April and managed to gain even more so far this month, achieving 2.8%. That's all for today. Tune in next week for more in-depth currency news that matters to you. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Goodbye!